what's going on YouTube. Uh, today I've got some updates for you as well as going to be talking about the account system and the inks for the Canon 2100. So definitely watch later on in the video for that. Uh, first updates I'm going to do is, you know, just me being a stay-at-home artist. Um, it's been going great actually. Uh, I kind of enjoy staying home, making art. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch lately, uh, just pumping out those artworks. I think I've nailed down like a method of how I want to create my art. So I've been kind of just working through a sketchbook, going through a sketchbook, making art, and then later on just putting it in a matte frame. So that's kind of been my flow recently for making art. Also, also other updates that I've been doing, uh, I've been going to art walks lately and I have finally made my goal of selling my own art, which is pretty cool. So I've, you know, starting to sell my own artwork and it's feeling pretty good. And tomorrow I've got my first show where it's a, a booth set up. So I'm going to be at the beach and hopefully I'll make lots of money. You know, there's going to be lots of people. It's going to be good weather and I'm excited for that. Also, another update, I've recently launched a Patreon to promote my mail art. You know, some people, they probably don't have the wall space or maybe they're just not sure what kind of artwork they would want in their home or in their apartments. Do they have the wall space for it? You know, the framing, the matting, all that kind of stuff. So I thought it was pretty cool to have mail art where you can in the mail get a piece of artwork from me something like this so i think that looks pretty cool and pretty neat and you can always just fold it up put it back in the envelope and then i don't know keep it somewhere safe keepings maybe your your desk at work or at home so that's the patreon and you can go out over there to check out prices and see what kind of tiers that I'm offering. Now for the main bulk of our video, we're going to be talking about the account manager system for the Canon 2100, or really I think the accounting system, it could go for any of the Canon printers, but that's the printer that I have is the 2100. And also talk about inks and other questions that you have on YouTube about the 2100. I'm also wondering about the Pro 2100. Can you comment on the accounting manager and the general cost of printing and how often you are replacing the ink cartridges? So one of the questions that somebody off of my YouTube asked me was, what kind of software does Canon give you? And is there a, an accounting manager? And how much ink do you use? And things of that nature that comes with the cost of printing. So, they do give you quite a few utilities. If you go down to when you install the printer, um, it will probably install their accounting manager, a free layout manager, which is more like a, a simplified version of the professional print and layout. I've kind of messed with the free layouts a little bit, but honestly, I prefer the professional print and layout. And there's also a plugin if you use something like uh, the Adobe Photoshop. So right now I have the Canon Accounting Manager open and you can see that there's um, a list of different things. We have the cost to printing, the printer name, uh, I think this is like the account name but uh, there's nothing here, document name, printing results, so I would know if something was complete or like this one, I canceled it, incomplete. Uh, these are starred, I think, for the reason because I was using a paper that I have no information on. So here you can see the media type. Fine Art Textured is the paper that I'm currently using. Uh, the paper size. Uh, and this is pretty cool. Paper consumption, paper width, height, and ink consumption, which is, I think a lot of people have been wanting to know. I usually do a lot of one-off prints, 
um, and then normally like like this one, this one, I'm I'm almost certain that those higher numbers of ink volume were when I just did multiple prints on a sheet of paper. You know, I probably had like six different little images all printed out all at once. So that's why these are particularly uh, high and the rest are pretty low. This, to me, in my opinion, I don't think it takes up that much ink. I'm a little surprised. And you can see also, right, the owner and print job start. So I bought this around the beginning of December of last year in 2020. You can also see the print time of how long it takes to print something. So I didn't print much in December. So December, there wasn't much printing. This is when I first got the print. I was just testing stuff out. January, February didn't print much, but then March and April, that's when I started doing some of these shows. So that's why now I'm suddenly printing a whole bunch. Um, and I've got to say, like, I'm probably more, I'm more than likely going to run out of paper before I even run out of ink. I think the ink consumption is really good on the Canon 2100. So for anyone who's like worried about the inks, I, I don't think there's much to worry. I do want to start prepping and buying inks ahead of time. That way I'm not caught off guard. But as of now, it's going really well. And how you set all of this up is you have to, I think, put in the, the printer name. So, you know, you can add printer. It'll, you know, look for whatever printers you have that are Canon or that's, you know, that's compatible with this. Um, and once you've added it, this is where you start putting in certain unit costs. So the first tab we have is ink. Here's all the different ink colors, the ink tank capacity. I buy the one with 106, or at least the one that I initially got from uh, when I first bought the printer was 160 in capacity and the unit cost. So people also have asked me how much do these inks cost? These ones, the 160 are $97 and it's probably the ones I'll be buying from now on. If you go to B and H, you can see that the 330 milliliters is about 173. And if you want to go higher than that, you know, we're talking about almost 300 bucks. So I don't think it's that necessary. Maybe if I get a really good payout, I'll just buy a really large ink, but I'm fine with for now, just buying something in the hundred dollar range and putting that in my printer. So we've got the ink costs. Paper. Currently, I'm using the Fine Art Texture Paper from Canon, and it's a 20-inch roll. Uh, the width and the height, like figuring that out in centimeters, wasn't that bad, I guess. I mean, right? It's a whole roll, so I was. Hopefully, I have these numbers correct. I'm not even quite sure myself, honestly. Um, I guess the number of Number of sheets, yeah, see, like, I don't even know how to answer that because it's a roll. So I just put down one. And then I think unit cost. I think I did some kind of math to possibly figure this out. So hopefully if I'm right, if my math is wrong, please let me know so it can probably calculate this uh, correctly. And I don't have any other cost. So once all of that is, once you get the paper and ink in, and like I said, that's why with these, um, you know, like I was just using regular paper for something. Uh, so that's why it, it couldn't calculate anything. Same for this one. I didn't input what this was because when you originally buy the Canon 2100, they give you a couple of sample papers. And so I use those to print with a couple of times. So I don't have the cost of that because I didn't pay for it. And I just didn't want to do the math on like a couple of sheets. That's fine. But here you can see what it's costing me. It's only a couple bucks. Um, again, this one is probably not really six because I, I, like I said, I was printing multiple images on one sheet of paper. And so this one is particularly high, but it's several different prints. So it's really cool to have this accounting system and knowing how much paper you're consuming, know how much ink you're consuming, and more importantly, how much like these print jobs are costing you. I think that's really good for your business and 
yeah just i mean obviously you you need to know you know how to price your own work that way you can start making a profit off these things how much does ink cartridges cost how many prints can you make with one set of ink please also let me know the cost of canvas roll so as you can see it's currently saving the job right now so it takes a, a minute or two for that to go through so while it's saving the job i'm just going to talk a bit again about the inks um so and, and we can go to the actual website but think of it as you have a and b once it starts to get to b um not to necessarily that you have to immediately replace the inks but it's probably getting pretty low on you at that point so when you first buy this printer they give you some inks you know i don't even think they fill it up all the way which i think is kind of messed up but whatever um and it's been at that level since about december i haven't even really noticed it drop at all so with all the printing that i've been doing around here lately, I still have a bit of that ink that was still in the A section. So we're doing pretty good. There's no need to replace anything. So if there's one thing that I probably have so far experienced with the Canon 2100 is that at some point with the paper roll, I've been getting these notifications. Um, saying that there's not enough paper. So, of course, you know, naturally I opened it to see, you know, if I really was out of paper. And much to my surprise, there was paper. So I do kind of feel like the Canon, maybe it can't properly read the roll and actually how know how much paper I'm out of. So lately I've just been saying print with the loaded paper. And... It's going to do its thing and print, but that's like the only negative comment that I have about the Canon 2100 is that I think that I'm out of the paper roll and then when I open it up, I'm like, oh wait, I totally have more paper than this thing is telling me. So how do I know when I'm really out of paper? That's probably my only negative thing about this printer. So uh, hopefully we'll be good to go. It's going to do... Um, it's whole nozzle thing real quick and once it does that it'll and this is one of my favorite things about just having my own printer is that I could just do this on my own if I had to go to a company and get this printed I mean look it's 1 30 in the a.m. Um, no one's open right now for me to just print one of my prints late at night and have me, you know, put it in a frame. I can do this on my own, print it, and be ready for tomorrow for the show. So finally, after all that printing, I finally got a new notice saying that ink is running low. Now if I go back, you can see, I think it's called, uh, what's it, like matte black or the some kind of matte black or... One of them, the MB, MBK, um, that's the one that's running low, which is pretty odd because even though it's, it's a little hard to see because of the lighting, um, but all of them, if you are able to see it, doesn't look like it's, it's going to show you very well. They're all at the same level, um, which I've had for a while now. So it's really interesting that that's the one that's low. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to immediately replace it you still have that bottom chamber that still has ink. But at that point, I feel like when it starts to run low, maybe that's when you start considering buying a new ink. And again, it costs about $97 to replace the ink. Um, that's if you get the lowest tank. I think, what was it, uh, 160 milliliters or 130? Something like that. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you start running low on ink. Now, when I go in to replace the ink, I'll definitely do another video showing you the steps on how to replace it. Even though I'm pretty sure there's videos out there, uh, in case anyone wants to see it, I'll do a video about that. But I just want to show you what that notification, what it looks like, and 
And like I said, who knows how accurate that is? Because again, for the longest time, I've it's been said that I've had like zero millimeters of paper, which is probably true, but I still have plenty of paper to print from. Like I've still been printing. That's shown up probably in the last month. And I've still been printing. I have dozens of prints still. And I probably could still make more. So who's to say how uh oops. Who's to say how really accurate that is? Like I said, I'm gonna start buying some of these inks. That way I don't get caught off guard and they all start going off and I've gotta buy a bunch of you know inks that add this all up and it's basically a grand you're spending on ink. But I just wanted to show you what that looks like. And right now I'm putting on my gloves to get ready to set up the prints. I'm using a blade cutter called the Carl DC 250. Currently I still haven't had to replace the blades, which is really good. It's an excellent paper cutter. I highly recommend it if you can't afford something like the rotor trimmer, although that one is also really good and I reviewed this particular brand that I have. I've reviewed it and absolutely love it. So. Uh, that's the Carl DC uh, 250. And uh, I can also talk about the frames and what I get them in. But before I talk about the frames, I just want to mention the type of paper that I have. It is a Canon Fine Art Natural white paper. Um, it's matte, 230 GSM, 24 inches wide, and it's a 50 foot long roll. And it's lasted... A pretty good while so yeah I actually don't have a problem with um, the paper that I've bought I also bought the Canon fine art enhanced velvet paper that one was a little bit more expensive the fine art the fine art natural white paper let me just pull it up real quick that one was about $63 for a 50 foot roll and the Canon fine art Enhanced velvet paper. I spent 112 on that. Haven't gotten to that one yet because, like I said, I'm still using the the fine uh, the fine art natural white paper. We'll see how long this lasts. I actually wouldn't mind buying again since it's 63 dollars, uh, but I might try other cheaper options as well. So those are the papers that I use. As far as the frames that I'm putting them in, I've been recommended to buy Golden State Art and you can get them on Amazon and they have a lot of good sizes I think the mat is really good you know it comes with the mat frame the backing and the plastic bag to go in it so it's pretty good just to get it as one big set that way you can just set all the stuff up and it's ready to go for the show so that's basically it for the, I guess, Canon Pro 2100 Q&A. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get it on the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you next time.